All right, since I'm not feeling well and and everything, I'm I think we're just going to watch real quick the uh shortest panel from Citizen Con. This was the Lorville Redux, um which is the change to Lorville. Uh yeah. So let's see. It's very loud Hello? though. My name's Ian Leyland and I'm the art director for Star Citizen. And today we're going to talk about an internal initiative called Lawville 2.0. Now with Lawville and specifically the Lawville cityscape, it was probably the first major landing zone we'd have ever had to do. It was the first time we put a, a, a landing zone on a planet and we had the player fly there with minimal restrictions, although it did have that really big uh, no-fly zone. But when we did subsequent landing zones we built up a bit more of a knowledge base and experience base about how we can effectively introduce cityscapes so area 18 new babbage Orison, we all developed more techniques and we always wanted to go back internally and put that knowledge back into lowville to start us off i'll throw it over. i think like the biggest thing that i don't think any of the cities really have maybe microtech just a tiny bit is like a separate uh like dock um like obviously cities are cities and there's airports where you fly in 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 like you know traditional cities on earth today a thousand years in the future it may be different i don't know but the i guess the idea of um I don't know. I'm trying to think. You would have your airport. That's where you would land your ship and and take a tram into the into the city, or you would, if you were running cargo, you would go to the like the cargo dock. And what's odd is like right behind him is a station with a cargo deck. Like they have that there, but even at those stations. You don't land at the cargo deck, right? So I always found that aspect of Star Citizen to be weird. And that if I was to like give any feedback on the way they designed the cities and stuff, that would be the only change I would really make from the, I guess, the microtech style. Over to Eric, our principal concept artist, and he can show you some more. And Lorville Hi, never Lorville never quite felt like a city, did it? You know? Eric Yanyo. I'm a principal concept artist for Star Citizen and Turbular in Montreal, and I'm here for to talking about the Lorville 2.0. When I started to no hub feels like a city. Concept, I think Microtech uh, does. Initially, what I did is to create a variety of uh, sketches black and white sketches of a different approach of, of that city. We create a, a side panel of a silhouette of the building. Mainly the reason we need to, uh, to work on that is for uh, mainly a gameplay issues because we would like to make a, a gameplay in the interior buildings and we need to create a, a bigger city to let the player uh, have a fun experience to flying through that. Yeah. Bro, it's it's crazy. Montreal is the only team that has like a gameplay initiative and then builds stuff. So after the sketch, <laughs> everyone process, else builds stuff uh, and then they and try to force people approval. to make gameplay in I it. I need to know very well uh, the footprint of that city. We build a city from a human scale, you know. We have nothing in that city they build uh, in a gray zone. So everything is built from that that unit and it's built from the unit of the CBD. So this is the mainly the two main unit I used to, to, to build a city. So we have a kind of a proportion in terms I want of this length and distance on my wall uh, to respect. So this is why I used a 3D uh, basis to, to, to working on that. So I need to make sure that the ratio of everything fits well to approach closely as possible. So mainly the goal is not to dig right away on the details but it's to stay on the big picture this one in and particular see if the 
the, the skyline makes sense. Or this. So oh. this is a good challenge to play with that. And I think or this. I did a, a nice job on that because at the end, what the feeling we have. Not so much this. Realistic. So I use my uh, my 2D background in terms of artists. Definitely this. To make, uh, Dude, I love uh, it. Just looks so cool. The best as possible possible concept art uh, with all the techniques inside of it. Uh, 3D paint over, sketching, painting, and at the end, I was needed to create a very uh, speechless concept to sell the, the, the mandate to the, the people uh, involved in that and they make sure they, they believe on that project and they could say, well, okay, now we are a Laurelville 2.0 and we're ready to moving on on that. Thanks, Eric. There's some beautiful image there and we had a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, that was... Uh, that cityscape. Now, we're not just in concept development. We've actually just... Now, obviously, like, you know, I've reacted to Citizen Con a few times now, and I've already seen this. It doesn't, it, I don't think it quite delivers on the concept art from what I've seen so box. far. Milestone internally, so we're going to jump over to Max, and he's going to show you where we're Let's at. Let's see what you think. Bonjour, mon nom est Maxime Guindon. Je suis chef environnement artiste sur le projet Star Citizen. Mon mandat en ce moment est Lorville 2.0. Euh, premièrement, je voudrais dire bonjour à la communauté francophone de Star Citizen, à toute la communauté en fait. Euh, ce que vous faites, ce que vous partagez, m'inspire énormément dans mon travail. From the concepts done, it's time to start it in engine, and uh, we. Uh, When I first watched, I thought he only spoke French. What was possible to do and to extend or to make it much bigger than the initial uh, Laurelville city, up to something that matches the ambition. For instance, we are keeping uh, the L19 area, we are keeping the CBD, we, keep, we are keeping um, the spaceport, and we're building upon uh, this and just extending the, the, the city. We've done several tests with the, um, the transit system, the rails, and uh, we try to extend it out a bit. We're keeping the same number of gates, but we're moving, uh, moving them out. And so throughout these... If you've ever taken a train to a gate at Hurston, moving them out is a scary prospect. You could be on a train for four minutes, five minutes. Like you quantum travel across the system faster. Tests, we've built... The so hopefully the routes are more direct. A city uh as just placeholder uh white box very primitive to have this this layout this fast iteration of the whole city um done and then that we could see it and get feedback on it so it will feel more like a believable city um we hope it to be fun to fly around and uh there's a reason why they did the uh, the no-fly zones initially. As you get closer, it becomes less and less believable, right? Uh, I know that they wanted, you know, to do the the glass shader. Like actually I'm not sure I'm yeah, do I'm really seeing that, right? Some races here in it we're building uh arches, so it still feels uh, it almost doesn't feel to scale like these buildings look like buildings for ants and things like that so i'm not i it, it's it's that's like always been sort of the problem with hurston it, and even even a little bit at art corp the 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 scale of things seems off i'm not sure why but it's always good. like bridges. this is the ship they're in is. I'm not even sure what ship they're in. 100, 300i. It looks like, and it's uh, yeah, it's. I don't know. It, the this there's something off with the scale. It it's always felt that way at Lorville. And 
like underpasses and it makes it yeah from the but maybe it's just a star citizen thing it always feels off from the cockpit like icy says and uh and then once you get out it all changes thing to be able to fly around we see the community of players uh they're um they're doing like a emergent gameplay of races uh, 350r that inspires that's right us. yeah and then the way that we're building uh, building this, this, this city. We are starting now the gray box. We have like uh, um, Montreal's uh, tools teams now that are working on like Houdini tools. And they are, we, we were chatting with them, see what we could, uh, could use from the library of tools. There will be several areas of like a higher level of detail, um, especially around uh, landing pads on rooftops and lookout areas and uh, these are the places where the players will be able to like they to even land. have those kind these of fake roads at the bottom where it's just lights uh, moving to the interior uh, spaces that uh, will be built uh, later not that i don't think that this looks amazing i'm i'm honestly not trying to be negative but you know just just feedback it's always been a little weird thing there and in that sense laurel will be ready for those interiors we started as a team of of two artists working on on Lorville, and now we're, we're five and uh, we could even be like more soon um each it artist with two has people the slightly different skill sets and we complete each other they bring ideas i let them bring ideas to the table on how to uh advance uh what we're doing make it kick ass so that's really important so i i hope you'll like what you see and we can't wait to show you more. I'm happy about the opportunity of working on, on this mandate because it's, it's, it's gonna make such a, a huge difference. Thanks, Max. Uh, that's looking great. And hopefully you guys can kind of see, even in a white box in format, we're seeing really good scale reads and understanding about how we can make the cityscape of Louisville probably one of our best yet. And we'll be shown more. I wonder why they never put so, actual roads in any of the city the streets and shit. Today, enjoy the rest of the show. No road tech, right? Like, don't you actually need like they they talked about? We need road tech and all this stuff about road tech, whatever that means. But this is like more of the the finished. Like that was what it used to be versus what it is now. And I guess these are going to be like more gameplay focused areas. It does look like the trains are very bang, bang direct instead of the, it was this roundabout thing. How much better would it be if you could just drive to the spaceport rather than tram? I don't know about that, but. Hopefully there's um, some improvements to that as well. We'll have to see. Mm, it's more for AI, the tech, gotcha. It certainly looks better. Like, uh, right there was like a good example of that scale issue, right? Like, doesn't it just look so tiny? The the buildings, it doesn't even look like a human hand-sized room, let alone a human-sized room. So, yeah, I mean that was the Lorville re redo. Redux, however you say it. And honestly, this is like one of the the more anticipated things uh, that I've been looking for, it, looking forward to actually, uh, because of that one little moment where they said, you know, we have this gameplay mandate at these locations and we're building everything out for that. And, uh, and that's the, the big thing. So that's what I'm really and why I'm really excited for this is Hurston and Lorville are the oldest and the least set up.
for gameplay and good things. And it is about to be the uh, the most set up, hopefully, and should, you know, sort of uh, inform changes that happen at Microtech and, and uh, you know, maybe even Arc Corp and so on. So hopefully uh, a lot of the, the buildings look very Arc corp as well, which is, eh, you know, not super unique from the other ones, which is okay, I guess. Uh, I'm all about reusing assets personally because... We have many, many cities and towns and star systems to build in the future. So, um, but in general, I'm I'm really hyped for it, and just I'm looking forward to the day that you land on a building and then go inside it. Right? I think that that's the big, big thing that all this is about. Not necessarily moving the gates out over here and doing this and that. It's really what ends up happening with the buildings and their internals.